Okay, so hello YouTubers. Hey Diddly, all right I hope. This is uh, a new thing at the moment, I'm hoping. What I intend to do uh, is um, a few reviews. So we're going to see how we go. Hopefully um, we can get it uh, get done. I've got uh, been asked by a company in China uh, called tinywind.com uh, to go out and do some reviews for them. So I'm going to give it, a, give it a go, see how we go. Uh, the first thing I'm going to review is a face mask. Um, and I must admit, it's come through and it's better quality than I expected. It's about £7.60 uh, with a translation through from dollars, etc. And uh, they do it in, uh, in green, black, digital uh, camo. And it's a glow-in-the-dark skull, skull mask, you know. Uh, and it's the V-shaped triangular one, um, rather than the standard neck tube. So, uh, see how we go. Catch me in a minute. Okay, so, having said what I said earlier about the, uh, the Tiny Wind skull mask. Bandana, well not bandana, sorry. Uh, like a face mask, whatever you want to call it. <coughs> Just hopefully this picks all this up and you'll be able to see it. This is how it, this is how it comes and this is what you get. And as you can see, V at the bottom, skull mask at the top, and it's a full wrap around. Quite well made. <coughs> One thing I would say I've noticed already is the pattern, for me personally, I wish it was just that just that little bit higher up because otherwise it makes it like you know because you know obviously your eyes sit at a certain level just here and uh, if you pull it up you'll be able to see so it drops down that little bit and then you can't quite see so what I'm gonna do is uh, pop it on and uh, see what you think but I'll tell you what the quality can't beat it really can't Stick some sunglasses on, looks much better. <coughs> Don't you agree? See how we go. Meet me out on the street. <coughs> so here we are again then. Just in case I didn't say it earlier, which I'm pretty sure I did, but hello YouTubers! How are you diddling? Alright, me knock. So, <coughs> excuse my little oh, backfire. Tickly cough today. Um, yeah, so this is the uh, the digital camo um, face mask, and it comes in around about. Uh, it's just over seven pounds. Uh, free postage from tinywind.com. I should put all the uh, all the descriptions needed down below, so you can check out. They do all sorts of things, right through um, various different parts for your motorcycles, whether it be a rear seat or plastics. Um, clutch and brake levers, uh, indicators, loads of indicators, rear tail lights, custom tail lights, so many different things. But anyway, today is about the review of the of the face mask. So uh, so far, I must admit, I'm very impressed. Very impressed. It's warm. It's better quality than I thought it would be. My only gripe, like I say, is the uh, the skull itself. I think should be printed slightly higher up. <coughs> now, when they asked me to re, uh, to do a review, uh, it sort of asked me, you know, to choose. So I've got uh, some indicators to do and so on. But for the time being, it's just these and. As most people are, 
Chinese, you're a bit sceptical, aren't you? Whereas with me, I must admit, I was uh, I was sceptical as to what quality was going to come through. And I'm well impressed. Now what matters to me at the moment is uh, <coughs> as I'm sort of travelling along at these sort of speeds um, what matters is that I'm able to breathe okay but at the same time it's keeping my face warm now today it's currently 6 degrees uh, so not very warm at all but that 6 degrees so far I'm quite nice As is usual with these sort of things, quite often they slide about. So anyway, I'll shut up and we'll just see uh, see how I do with it. <coughs> Hopefully, at uh, national speed limits of 60, 60 mile an hour around these roads, but I'm going to go out on too soon. I should find out that the uh, that the face mask does its job quite well. We shall see. <coughs> I do get impatient behind people, shouldn't do. It's an open face hell, but you've got to use your common sense. Sunglasses steaming up on the inside. That's a side effect. No matter what you're wearing, when it comes to uh, wearing sunglasses, open face helmet. So the main thing is that it's comfortable, which it is, keeps the wind out, and does the job. Of course you've got to bear in mind, not everybody has an open faced helmet, but you don't have to be on a motorbike to have one on. Look pretty cool on a push bike. Excuse me. see there's about a delivery time on these is about seven to ten days uh, it certainly was for these for this one no doubt they could get it to you uh, sooner if it's already in the country so anyway 
anyway, I've told you what I think about it. Leave your comments below and uh, let's have a banter. If you think, sorry, Chinese crap, I won't go near it. Can I just say think again? Because the amount of things that you think aren't made in China, they are. Pretty much everything. So anyway, I'll leave this here for the time being. Thank you very much for watching. Please remember to comment, like, hit that subscribe button if you want to, and share the hell out of the videos. Ride safe, people. Bye. Okay, so just been out and uh, excuse that bit yep just been out and tested everything and last thing to say is it's called I can write it down <laughs> it's called a Halloween tactical I'm assuming the Halloween is because of the skull but it's the Halloween tactical glow skull polyester slash cotton half face mask neck warmer £7.60 that's what it now as far as I'm concerned I think it's a bit pricey but it's better quality than I expected so make of it what you will. Um, personally, I think it's uh, yeah quite worth the money, and I'd buy one. So, and that's what matters when you're doing a review. Would you buy it? And in this in this case, yes. So thanks for watching. Doodle pip. Take it easy. Bye.